This is Mr. Royce J, Royce Media, coming at you guys with yet another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the, uh, I want to address the issue of the child support crybabies. A few weeks ago, I did a video about uh, stimulus check versus um, child support. And uh, in the comments section, of that video some of you guys were crying about your uh crying about child support situations and i'm of the position that i really don't feel sorry for guys on child support and it's because um those guys participated in unprotected sex and wound up with kids I look at it the same way as I look at single mothers in that situation um, or unwed mothers and that you knew the risk when you decided to participate in unprotected sex. You know, um, in this day and age, we know that there's always a chance that a relationship can go bad and that uh, you and whoever you would may break up. And you may wind up on child support. It is what it is. That's how the system is made. And it's been that way for the last almost 30 years. So if you're on child support, you likely have a child that is younger than the age of 18. And you're on child support. It is what it is. When you take that risk of having unprotected sex, you assume all the risk. Just like with single mothers, I, I don't care that they were in relationship long-term relationships uh, and stuff uh, and they was with somebody that they thought they were going to have forever if you bring children into it you have to deal with everything that comes with having kids and you always have to assume the risk that the relationship may not go the way you want it to go so just as i don't feel sorry for them i don't feel sorry for you guys either you know, uh, would you divorce guys? I mean, I get it. Child support sucks. But again, that's the system. So if you don't want to be on child support, don't bring kids into the world. Now, that's different if uh, a child was put on you and you're not the father. Um, you, you, you know, and you've been proven not the father and yet you're still on child support. That's fucked up all the way around. But if you are the father... It is what it is. You know, you, you, you got to deal with the system and you either pay the child support or you don't pay the child support. And for a lot of you guys to be crying over a little funky ass $1,200 because for whatever reason um, you're behind on child support, that's the system. You know, I, you don't like it, then you need to vote for politicians that support your stance. You need to try to get these people in office. You need to talk to politicians um, and explain to them um, how you feel about that situation and, and, and you feel that situation is unfair. Until then, if you want to go have raw sex, you want to have unprotected sex, you assume all risk. It, it, you know, I'm going to address some other stuff with um, this so-called red pill section, so-called manosphere. Um, that I'm seeing is kind of disturbing. A lot of you guys are really amount to whiny little kids. Um, and it, it, it's got to stop. That's part of being true red pill. You have to understand what's out there and you have to behave accordingly. You have to accept all the risks with the decisions you make. That's, that's being an adult. That, that's not even red pill. That's being an adult. You know, so if you don't want kids, then you strap up and you make sure you don't leave anything around that that woman, that that female can get pregnant with. You know, you you, you eliminate and you you eliminate or reduce as many risks as possible. Now, you know, I got kids and if the situation with me and my wife, if it went bad, I would be on child support, too. I'm going to take care of my kids and I'm going to deal with that, that child support situation. I'm not going to sit up here and bitch about it. You know, I mean, I may not like it, 
But I'm not finna sit here and cry and make all kinds of excuses. I did what I did. And some of you all need to take that attitude as well. You know, just like these single mothers. Hey, you decide to pop out a baby, you assume all risk. I don't I don't feel sorry for them. I don't give no, you know, I don't give no relief. The only people I really kind of feel sympathetic for are people that were in marriages and the marriages went bad. I mean, that stuff happens. You know, it is what it is. You know, um, but other than that, you guys in this section really need to grow the fuck up. You know, stop talking like little old babies and 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 and, and cry babies. You know, nobody got time to be listening to that dumb shit. You know, man, it's like drug dealers. You know, if you go inside to deal drugs, you got to assume all the risks that come with it. You know, and nobody, you know, you get locked up or something. I'm not crying for you. Hey, you know. That's the life you chose. Now you got to deal with everything that come with it, good or bad, you know? So anyway, this is all I have to say on this subject. I know you, some of you crybabies going to get in the comments section. So, you know, uh, you know, that being said, do what you do, you know? Um, anyway, this is Mr. Royce, Royce Media. Like, share, subscribe, get in the comments section, you know? And um, I'm out.